What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Brandon and I'm going to show you how to mine Dogecoin on basically any computer with no technical know-how. So just come with me and uh, I'll show you what's up. So let me flip the screen over here. Uh, we're going to be using unminable.com. Um, you can click on the link down below in the description. It helps me out. It's a referral link. Not going to hide that by any means. But if you don't want to help me out, which I understand that some people don't, go to unminable.com. Once you're there, uh, you'll sometimes it'll load this screen, which shows all the coins, and sometimes it'll show just a launch screen, and you'll have to click on coins. But regardless, these are all the coins that you can, you know, mine, and a lot of them are coins that are unrealistic to mine on a modern desktop or laptop. Um, and what I mean by that is, for example, Dogecoin, you can't really mine it on a desktop mining direct Dogecoin. You'll never make anything because it's it's run by ASICs. So. And what they do is they use a Monero miner, which is still profitable to mine on CPUs. And they use an Ethereum miner and an ETC miner for GPUs. We're going to just be talking about CPUs today. We can come back and visit this later on if there's more demand for GPU mining. Uh, but you mine Monero and it auto pays you out in Doge or any other coin that you pick on this list. And there's a bunch of them. But today we're just talking about Doge. So you're going to want to click on the download page. After you go here, you're going to want the packed Windows version. Um, you right click on it. Don't left click on it. If you left click on it, it just redirects you back to the coins. So you right click on it, save link as, and then it compresses it folder and you just save it to your downloads. Once you do that, it'll go down here. It's downloading a little slower than, than normal. Uh, by the way, just, just a disclaimer, this is not telling you that Doge is going to go up, Doge is going to go down. This is not financial advice, this is just showing you how to use your computer's hardware to generate some Doge. Alright, now you're going to want to left click on this, show in folder, and then unminable miner 1.0 blah blah blah. You're going to right click on that, this is very important, it, click on extract all. If you don't extract it, it's, it's not going to work inside the zipped folder. So after that, boom, you extracted it, you open it up, and you'll see this right here, unminable miner, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you double click on that, where are we at here? Uh, unminable miner. Sorry, I actually have mine on the desktop. I wanted to launch my original one here. All right, unminable miner. It's going slowly but surely there we are okay and i'm still i didn't even realize that i'm mining on my gpus in the background all right so the fastest and easiest way to start mining your favorite non mineable and some mineable coins so you click continue then you click graphics card or cpu i'm going to suggest for anybody that doesn't have a newer or more current graphics card you're going to want to mine on a cpu but that's cool because you can actually do this on laptops or older hardware that'll still generate a little bit of hash on um monero so you click cpu then you click next then you're going to click your coin so you want you're going to want to type in doge and then you enter your address so what i mean by address is the actual wallet address for your doge if you don't have a doge wallet you need to pause this video and go get you a doge wallet because that's like that's like the, the first thing you need uh, to be able to receive the doge from the from mining it. After you put your address in there, you just click start. And then it will fire up. But it, off the bat, it will fire up in a low intensity mode. So what I mean by that is you'll still be able to use your computer. And this can mine in the background. So far, I've let mine just run in the background. And it's made like 14 doge. And um, I'm running it on low intensity. And I'm running on an old Xeon. Now, if I turn it up to high intensity mode, the hash rate like goes times 10. I can almost get about 4,000 kilohash, but that's because I'm on a 12 core Xeon. So on low intensity mode, it's basically running on like one core, maybe two cores, but you can still end up using your computer, which is really cool. So I just leave this chill in the background. It doesn't hurt my, my live stream or anything really. And I can still play games, all that kind of stuff. And like, you know, last 24 hours, I made 1.3 Doge. So if we look at that, what is a Doge coin? What's Doge coin worth? 
Dogecoin's worth 5.5 cents as of today, uh, February 21st, 2021. So 1.3 Doge is like seven, eight cents. I made seven or eight cents mining on a very, very small fraction of my CPU. Um, now, would I have made more direct mining at um, Monero? Maybe, probably a little bit. Is there, you know, a fee involved with using this service? There is. I'll actually pull it up for you guys. It's not as bad as what I thought it would be. Um, oh, yeah, that's another thing. If you want to look at your actual pool side uh, stats, you can click on website and it will show you your pool stats. So um, last 24 hours, I made one doge. Nothing's been paid. Uh, you can click pay automatically from 50 doge. 50 doge is the minimum to get paid out from this pool, which I mean, 50 doge at five cents is what? Two dollars and fifty cents. Why can I not math right now? It is a little late. 50 times 0.05. Yeah, $2.50. So when every $2.50, you can get paid out and you're good to go. The fee is 1%. Um, you can lower your fee by using a referral code. Um, yeah, and I guess, I guess that's how that works. I didn't know what the referral code actually does. I've only been using this for a few days now. Um, the first couple of days, I was mining at high intensity, and then what I've transitioned into doing is I mine at low intensity while I'm using my computer, and then when I remember to, I'll turn on high intensity. But these last couple of days, I keep forgetting, and it's just mining on low intensity. So um, you can actually run multiple computers all mining to the same address, and they do work your balance together. So if you have, you know one two three four extra computers and you're not using them and they can't really make a lot of money to uh you know get a payout on like nice hash or something else because the pay minimum payout on nice hash is 0 0.0005 bitcoin which comes out to it's a lot more money you know 30 40 bucks something like that whereas you can get paid out on here at two dollars and fifty cents so a lot lower threshold and potentially somebody's actually interested in doge they can get some doge so i just thought it was a cool thing to show you guys um, I'm going to revisit this uh, after I get my first payout and see how it is. But apparently this website's been around for a little while. I'm also going to look into um, mining a little bit of Tron through here or TRX. Because from what I understand, that's not a mineable coin, but I'd like to get some. And I have hardware, so uh, I don't know how that will actually equate. If it works out better, worse, can't imagine it'd be much better. But if it's pretty close, um, yeah, it saves you a little bit of a, you know trading on the exchanges. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Brandon on Brandon Coin. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Um, we also have a Discord link and a Facebook group link down below in the description. Uh, we will see you on the next one. Peace. Adios.